Good morning, folks. We've got a couple important and interesting things to hit today. We confirmed the CME forecast from yesterday's show. There was a big earthquake in the Philippines, and we've got three good science articles to hit as well. But we are starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. C-class flaring only, minor instabilities at the plasma filaments, and we have some new sunspots incoming on the south. If you recall, we had a filament collapse we saw yesterday, and we also saw on SOHO, it appeared to produce an Earth-directed CME. Today, both Enlil spirals are updated and confirmed that forecast. As we said, it won't be a major hit. Minor geomagnetic activity is expected from the impact, which should occur Sunday. We will be watching for more eruptions today. Let's head to the Philippines, where damage is being reported from a magnitude 6.7 earthquake that struck the region. It was downgraded after initially ringing in at 7.2. Full accounting of injuries and damage is expected later today. Right now, it's mostly just photos and video coming through social media. First up in the articles today is this one. They have spotted something they've never seen before. A star thought to be dead has roared back to life with significant flaring activity after they thought it had already had its end-of-life supernova. I guess they still don't know Nova. Another space blast mystery comes from a fast blue optical transient, something scientists are still trying to understand. They brighten to phenomenal levels before rapidly fading back and doing so in far less time than we usually see with supernova events. Another unknown in the vastness of space. Last but not least, they are improving ice core chronologies. After confirming there was about a 10% uncertainty in dating the past using this method, they went with Krypton dating to tighten up the timeline a bit and say they achieved quite a bit better outcome. Maybe you recall, Krypton is how they fixed the Tibetan ice cap dating fiasco. They also saw evidence of geomagnetic excursions within the ice cores, something that has been challenging in the past. We greatly appreciate your support. Tomorrow is our Observer event at Observer Ranch, so if you got tickets, I look forward to seeing you out there. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.